Hey everyone, Tom Walker from Northeast Outdoor Adventures and on this video I'm going to be solo camping and ice fishing in a very remote part of Vermont. Let's do some fishing. It is a whopping two degrees and I just made it to my destination here at Miller Pond. We're going to check this out and you can see I got all my gear ready. My fishing and camping. I'm camping overnight. It's going to be fun. All right, here we go. I am pulling into the zone here. Let's see. Looks as good a spot as any. Looks like I've the people have drilled here before. Nice lake though, look at that. Beautiful. So I have all my tip-ups up. They're all in the holes and hopefully to catch some fish here. Um, I'm not really expecting much. I get in late um, and that was kind of the deal. Anyhow, I was going to get in here a little late just to scope things out because I've never been here before. I'll take the day and kind of meander around this little pond and see what's what. Um, I did notice that I've got coyote tracks going across this fresh snow. So I may have company tonight, which would be kind of cool. I know that um, the moon's going to be quite bright tonight. It's supposed to be clear, so it won't be a full moon, but it'll be bright. And I'll open like this. It'll be neat. Yeah, see? Coyote. Big. So we are all set up. I got the tent up. It's ready to go for sleeping quarters later. The ice shelter's up. I still haven't gotten any bites today though. I got all my tip-ups up and nothing. Um, like I said, I did get a late start, so tomorrow's gonna be key getting up early. And the wind's picked up. It's probably a good five miles an hour now. There's nobody up here. Nobody. So quiet. All right, now I'm gonna move on to get some dinner. All right, so I get the stuff set up here. So what I've done is made up some uh, quick bread and I'm gonna kind of make a um, fajita, I guess, out of uh, the bread. And then I've got some uh, venison that Ben has uh, jarred up for us and then I've got some cheese and a pepper and I'm just gonna wrap do a wrap venison wrap see how this turns out 
All right, let's get it on. This isn't turning out exactly the way I wanted it. It's not rising like it's supposed to, so I did something wrong. But I'm still going to use it. Uh, I'm throwing the venison right now. Peppers are done. I know why this did not rise like it was supposed to. The heat source is too low. The flame's way too low and not providing enough heat. So it still tastes good, and I'm still going to use it. I'm just going to have to do it in a different manner. See if I can do this without destroying it. There. Looks good, and I did take a little taste, and it does taste good too. I'm going to take this and dump that right on top, just like so. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. That smells good. Oh, does that smell good? All right, and then you top it off. Some cheddar cheese. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah, I'll let that sit for a couple minutes. Bon appetit. All right, so this is what it looks like all done. Let's give her a taste. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, yep, really good. Next time I will work on that flatbread though. I'm gonna bring a different heat source. Oh, that is delicious. Mm. You gotta get out and fry this. Mm. It's just a good time. Cheers. So now we're heading into the afternoon and haven't caught any fish. Um, so I reset four tip-ups. Uh, this is late in the afternoon, and who knows if they'll even bite today. Um, so I got them set up there, over here, over there, over there. And I got the tent finally set up on the inside. This is where I'll be sleeping tonight. Got the old heater system, fan. Yeah. Yeah, sleeping bag, all set, ready to go. All right, so I'm gonna be pulling the plug on this today. Um, I'm gonna be pulling up my lines here in a few minutes. The sun's gonna be going down. Uh, didn't get anything today, uh, and it was really quiet. Uh, tonight should be interesting. I know there's a ton of coyote activity around here. They should be howling, that'll be cool. But it is still pretty, <laughs> pretty interesting to be up here, and you're definitely alone. There's nobody up here. It'll be a cool night, other than the uh, ice shifting under me. That's a, uh, that's a little unsettling at sometimes. So a couple hours before I hit the tent. Uh, this is the ice shanty I got last year. I love it. It's got a, <laughs> I love the skylights. It's awesome. So, I uh, quick run around. I got my little table there, speaker, chair, another uh, stand there, my heater. And I'll probably watch a movie later. And my lanterns and a couple extra lights. Um, yeah, it's been a very slow day, but very relaxing day, too. There's a tent right there. And you can see the tip-ups out in the distance, but there's nothing. We're not getting anything. I'll be up at 4 a.m. and see what happens. All right.
What a beautiful morning. It is well below zero, very cold out. Um, got all my lines set up. As you can see, there. Just gonna go along the shoreline today, see what's what. And just kind of work my way around. Um, yeah, I didn't get a whole lot of sleep due to this pond and the ice movement all night. Yeah, tends to keep you up when you hear cracks going underneath your tent. <laughs> but other than that, yeah, and it got cold and it, it, even in the tent it was down to 34 degrees and I have heat in there. So yeah, it was cold. Yeah. So let's see what happens. What a beautiful place here, man. And again, no noise, no nothing. And I did hear the coyotes last night. It is literally 32 degrees in here with the heat going. Look at this. Check that out. Yeah. I'm gonna start packing up the tent and then I'll sit in the nice shelter for a while. But yeah, very cold out. How do you put that into words? Oh man, does that smell so good. Nice hot drink, nice cold morning. All right, so I didn't have very much luck in regards to catching any fish. However, I did have a blast. For the last couple weekends, I've been up north uh, hanging out with my brother-in-law doing some fishing. We've had more success up there. I'm gonna share those videos with you right now. Get outside, have some fun, enjoy it. Take care.